Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a link in bio using Notion. All free, no plugins, nothing like that. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is forward slash, and we are not going to be using buttons. So most likely you thought we would be using buttons. We are not going to be using that. We're going to do forward slash and write call out. So call out is this one here. So basically call outs are literally just text, but they have a nice background behind them, kind of making them look like a button. So here we might write a uh, Streamline your work life, which is my mini course uh, linked in the description if you want to have a look So what we want to do here is first change this icon So you can just click on that and you can select either an emoji an icon or you can even link to a specific image on the web So let's say you want to do a uh, social media You can literally find a social media icon online and then paste that link here or you can upload custom so you can literally upload whatever image here that you want. Bear in mind, it's going to be very small. But for this, I'm just going to do this arrow here. So I'll click on that. Now I'm going to go to the website that I want to link to. So I'll get the link for that, and then I'll do Control A on the line. So now you can see that I can link it, or we can just hover over the whole thing and do link. You won't want to just do part of the word like this because it's a button. We want ideally the entire text line here to work as a link. So the entire thing, do link and then you just paste the link here and click on link to web. So we have our first link and now you can just copy and paste this like that and you can change this to whatever you want. So if you want, you can have all these background colors be the same or you can change them just by going to the six dots here and then going down here to color and we can change it here. So let's just make this background yellow. You can change this, make it blue, whatever you want. So let's change this blah, blah, blah to streamline playbook. So I have a free email based course all about how to streamline your work life. Uh, highly recommend it. Link is in the description. You get a few days worth of emails, just purely value on how to streamline. And then on the last day, there's a bit of an ad for you to get my mini course. So what I can do here is drag an image above this. So I've dragged that in. Now, as you can see, having a square will probably be uh, a bit too large. Ideally, you'll probably want to have a rectangle. It will work much better as there will be a lot of scrolling if you have square images like this. But I'll keep it this size just so you can see what it looks like on mobile. So I'll remove these two as well. Now let's say you wanna add a cover. We can do that just by clicking add cover. Now here, you're going to randomly generate an image from Unsplash. So we can click on change cover here. So here in the gallery, you can select from a bunch of randomly generated images. You can either upload your own, which I'll be doing, or you can link from online, or you can search from Unsplash. Most likely for a link in bio, I recommend uploading your own. So I'm going to click on upload file. So it's just my channel's logo here. One thing to bear in mind, it will not look like this on the mobile. And most likely 99.9% .9 of the time, people are going to be clicking this link in bio on the mobile. So ideally you design this to work vertically as well as horizontally. I'll show you what this image ends up looking like on the phone. I'm going to change this emoji to an icon and I think a down arrow makes the most amount of sense. We want people to scroll down. Now, another cool thing worth mentioning is you can embed YouTube videos. So I'll just show you how to do that. So I'll just embed this YouTube video here. I'll do right click and do copy link address. And then here we'll just paste and then we can click on embed video. So it's literally just the link to the YouTube video, but you can see that it embeds. So this is perfect for musicians, YouTubers, etc. And let's say we are ready to publish this. So we're going to go up to share, click on that. And then here we're going to click on publish. We do not want to click on copy link here or share here. That would be inviting people individually. We want to click on publish and then publish here. So we publish to web. Now the first setting we want to change is allow duplicate as template. We want to remove that. So we're going to click on that. If that is on, that allows people to copy our link in bio, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Now what we want is this link here. This is what you will be putting in your bio. Now if you have your own website, you can do a forwarder or online, there are link shorteners and stuff like that. But for the time being, I will just use this link. So this is what it looks like on the mobile. Now, as you can see, this banner is a lot taller now and it's not being cut off here. So just bear that in mind when you're designing this banner, if you're going to have one. If you wanna learn more about my Streamline Your Work Life mini course, click on this link here. It helps you get less stressed by having less stuff on your plate whilst still getting more done.